Hey guys, in this one we are going to be looking at a way that we can navigate if we are not in the context of a component. So right now, every component that we have has access to a prop called navigation. If we came here and destructured navigation and console log bit here, so let me go ahead and console log navigation. So if you come to the app, you said you have navigation and you should be able to have navigate which is what we use to navigate to the other sections of the app. You can see we have the navigate. Also, we can be able to navigate by doing use navigation. So when you do use navigation, it's a hook. It gives you all these and many more, but among those is one that is called navigate, which you can use to navigate to the other sections. Now, if we wanted to navigate, let's say we were in the interceptor, let's say here, in the actual interceptor, and maybe every time there was an error from the server, maybe the token had expired, we wanted to navigate to the login screen. So the way we do that is, so we need to create something called a root navigator. Now I'm going to come to navigations, then I go here, then I'm going to create a new file called root navigator js so over here we're going to import react because we are going to be using some react features as you see then we'll create a ref so we'll do const navigation ref equals react dot create ref so what react create ref does is it gives us a ref so what we want to do is we want to export this ref so we want to do export const navigation ref now if we go to our navigations right here we can tap into navigation container and give it a ref so we can do ref equals let's give our own which we just created navigation ref like this so right now what we are doing is here we have created a ref and then we are saying that when our navigation is initialized assign the value of that ref to this navigation container here so what that does now is it it makes us tap into all the methods that are available on the navigation container so here we can create a navigate function so we can do const so we're going to give it the same method parameters as one that are in the original navigate method signature which is the screen name and also the extra parameters like the the param extra parameters that we might want to send. So then in here, we can now check if this ref has been initialized. So here we can do if ref dot current. So initially it's going to be undefined. Actually, let me set it to null initially. So initially it's going to be null, but when it gets set here or when our navigation is initialized, it's going to be set to this. Meaning that in the ref here, we can now say if we if the navigation has been initialized then then be sure to navigate so here we can do navigate so here we can do navigation ref dot current then we want to call navigate with the name and parameters like this then let's go ahead and export this i'm just i'm actually gonna do export const navigate so now if we came to let's say here so now that we have it i'm just going to go in any file that's not in any component let's say in the axios instance itself so here every time we are trying to make a request this code will be run so i'm just going to quickly use that navigate to maybe navigate somewhere so here we can do let's say navigate remember we need to open it remember we need to import it and then we need we give it the screen name so now let's say we want to go to create contact then for the parameters we can even keep it empty so when i save this let me make sure we are importing it and save notice that now it actually navigates here and we are not using the normal navigate uh, function that we should get from using navigation so that's it. So in the next video, I'm going to come in and we are going to work here to create a response interceptor that will be logging out a user every time we have an authentication error on the server. So thanks guys for watching. I hope that was helpful. If it did help you, 
please make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you soon bye